how to make your first YouTube video. So let's start with this. Remember in school you used to get assignments and projects? What made you complete them? Was it the love of homework or your love for school? Yes, of course. No, no, it wasn't. It was fear. Fear of not finishing it by the deadline. Fear of getting a bad mark, which is a C and D for other ethnicities, but A and A minus for Asian kids. And also, your parents' reaction to your <laughs> shitty grades. But you still procrastinated to the last minute. Why? Because you were, there wasn't any mini deadlines along the way before you had to hand in the big project. Having said that, even though your assignments were not done in a perfect manner, you still completed them because of the big deadline. But they weren't done to the best of your ability. The most important thing to take away from this process is deadlines. Especially the, the distinction between one big deadline versus one big deadline filled with small deadlines along the way. You have to create rigid and realistic deadlines for yourself. After creating a big deadline, you have to break them down into smaller deadlines so that you don't keep procrastinating and end up with a half-assed project. And use fear to your advantage by creating harsh consequences for failing to meet deadlines and rewards for reaching and achieving your deadlines. So, let me give an example of how to start posting YouTube videos using deadlines as the foundation. All right, so let's say you want to start a YouTube channel, right? The first thing that comes to mind is how and where should I even begin? Don't start a YouTube channel thinking a year or even five years ahead. Start by just focusing on the next video until you get about five to ten videos posted. Then we can start to get about the long term. The biggest hurdle is obviously the first video. What should it be about? Well, of course, the cliche answer is do a video where you're passionate about. And even though we all hate cliches, cliches are there for a reason. That's because they are true and consistent. Now, you might say, I don't know what my passion is. Well, let's make it simple. Start with an activity that brings you the most joy. Something you're enthusiastic about. Or some op opinion you can't wait to share with people. And this could be anything from sports to games to movies to cars to basically anything that you love to do on a daily or weekly basis. Then, think about your opinion on such activities and events. Ask yourself if you have any unique points of views or any tips and tricks you'd like to share on said activities. Now that is a great basis for a short 5 minute video. Now, with basic video editing, you can get your point across with a little fusion of these things called humor in order to uh, entertain and educate the masses on your hobby slash passion. For example, let's, let's say you love watching TV shows, that's your hobby slash passion. Well, you can start by reviewing or jokingly mocking a TV show, or you can just start by reviewing a single episode of the show. By using still pictures as background and adding a nice voice recording, you have yourself your first video. It's as simple as that. You don't need any perfect or mind-blowing shit. Just keep it simple. The whole point of it, the first 5 to 10 videos, is to get you comfortable with YouTube and get some momentum going. Now, remember when I talked about deadlines? This is where it comes in. Start with a two week goal. Tell yourself, I have to post a video in two weeks. Now, let's use the movie or TV show example again. Okay, how are you going to edit this video? Well, you need an editing software like Adobe Premiere Pro or Apple's Final Cut Pro. Once you choose your editing software, the next step is of course to get familiarized with it. So give yourself the first week in order to do this and also give yourself the first week in order to come up for the script for your first video. Now, there are a lot of videos on YouTube to get you familiarized with different editing softwares. Go through as many as you can in one week and try to pick the ones that relate the most to the type of video you want to create. Okay, so now the first week out of the way, we have our script completed and we have familiarized ourselves with our video editing software. So now let's move on to the second week. In the second week, first we need to record our audio and maybe also film ourselves speaking in order to make our video more engaging and make it feel more personal. So, what tools do we need for that? Well, obviously, we need a mic and a camera. For the mic, I believe it would be a wise idea to invest a bit of money into it. You can easily find a good mic on Amazon for $50. The next is the camera. And for the camera, modern smartphones would easily suffice. Especially the ones that have come out 2020 and onwards are perfect co camera quality. And especially for a YouTube video. But you may also need a tripod to hold the smartphone while filming and you can easily pick one up for $20 on Amazon. 
So once we finish recording and filming our video, we have to use our newfound basic knowledge of editing softwares in order to edit our video. And voila, you have your first video. All you needed was 5 to 15 hours in 2 weeks, a mic, a tripod, a smartphone, an editing software, and your hobby slash passion. It only cost us $50 for the mic and $20 for the tripod. You can find cheaper stuff on other websites as well, so it might cost us less than that actually. So overall, just to recap, your big deadline was to post a YouTube video. You broke it down to two weeks. Two mini deadlines. First week's goal was to get a basic understanding of how editing software works and to write a script for your video. Second week's goal was to film and record the script and editing in order to make it ready for YouTube. Now, when you create your next video, your goal should be to cut the time in half and eventually after posting about 10 videos, you'll have a great momentum behind you and a good knowledge of how the whole thing works which will allow you to have a great vision for your long-term plan and make you make better decisions in terms of which way you want to really go with your YouTube channel.